guys, so with the new PvP game mode actually, not, not new PvP game mode, but you know, the current same name rule, having a top 100 and awarding gems, there's obviously gonna be an incentive for people to keep pushing, and there's gonna be a meta, right? We've been trying out some fun teams like Double R for, that's like the standard one, that's I, I think is fun because it's, Arthur has been a super limited character since launch and now having the ability to run a second Arthur, so good for him. But the real best team in the game, I think, is this one. Currently, the if you go through and look at the top 100 players, not majority, but like at the top especially, you will see some variation, like this guy's using double Arthur, and that's like a team I just used for another video. But most of them are running Galda, Tremiliolus is in Lost Veins, really good for CC. And then either Demon King Zaldris or LR Zaldris. And, or or like this as well, like the Tremiliolus in the front and then a Zaldris in the back. And Nebula Zaldris actually does something while Lost Vein, if he's in the back, he's not doing anything, just giving CC. But in any case, I think Lost Vein isn't good enough that like, oh, I want to run him in the front, right? I, I like this setup because I do think LR Zeldris contributes a decent chunk by having that extra heal he gets from his AoE. Um, and he lowers straight up. So if you start the match, right? This guy is using Gelda team standard. One thing that happens is everyone has dodge. But Zeldris, his debuff goes through the dodge. You, obviously the hit doesn't go through the dodge, but the actual debuff does. So if you do this, actually, I'm just, if you do this, when you attack with Melee or Gelda, the debuff is going to be there. I don't know. When comparing him and Lost Vein, you have Lost Vein also has his own advantages for sure. But I, I think that the Zeldris, LR Zeldris in the front is probably my favorite way of running. Yeah, if you go second with Lost Vein, it's probably better than going second with, with uh, than with Zeldris. Oh, this guy is running, you know, Lost Vein, Meliodas, so they're, get, they're getting one dodge. I'm only getting one dodge, which isn't as great, but I guess you could run dodge food plus the Lost Vein. That would be true dodges. With Lost Vein, you're getting the rank ups, right? So this guy, level 3 AoE, not that it's crazy and, you know, Gelda, you can't even debuff her with the AoE, unfortunately. But, yep, let's do this, this, and then if Galda survives, that's the only character I assume can survive. Eh, uh, maybe, I don't know, can Melee survive, like, Demon King Melee? He did, actually, wow. In any case, my level 3 will kill his Galda, and I'm getting some crits in because of Galda. To be fair, I don't know if you know if you know this, because of Nanashi, those crits did less damage than the non-crits, because the crit defense was a little high. But I haven't seen many people running Nanashi. That's like my first time seeing it on this new PvP rule. So I don't know how frequent it is that you're going to be facing people using him. And in any case, I don't think it would change much. I mean, you can kill Demon King Melee. You're not killing Gelda. It's to a point where, you know... After Galda has had the extra HP, it's Jover. Are you really gonna kill Galda? I, <laughs> I find it unlikely that you will. So, do this. Maybe she can get a crit on. Also, unlikely because your crit chance is not very high, but you know. Always good to try. And he had the, the three balls on his head, so it's a lot of defense related stats. But yeah, while I, I'm, I don't know how I'm going to title this video, if it's going to be like best team or something, whatever. It's definitely not as strict. I think that the variations of, you know, Demon King Melee plus a Melee for the dodge are going to be important. Or if you want to go double Zeldris for the dodge, like so, so long as you're getting that dodge, you definitely don't want to skip out on having two of the same character, right? You're missing out on a very important dodge there. It can just save you from getting demolished, pretty much. I do, you know, think having two dodges is great, but you you can't deny Gelda. Gelda doesn't have a second version, right? She's a character that 
her first release is, you know, was it two weeks ago? Three weeks ago? It's a very recent character. So, can't run double Gelda. So you gotta pick one of the other ones. Let's do a... Can I? Okay, I think that this could work out. I think Gelda could kill Bon here. So this is gonna heal a decent chunk. So that's a lot of HP for Gelda. This will kill Arthur, of course. I think I should have done Gelda on Arthur and then Melee on Bon. Yeah. It wasn't healing enough. Where I was thinking, you know, if I AoE with Zaldras because of the... Um, the extra heal from his his uh, effect would be pretty nice. Oh, also, LR Zaldras is really good against Arthur. There are moments where, you know, the enemy Arthur can just combine the cards without moving them. You know what I mean? Like, if the seventh card falls in a way where that is possible for you, then it's no big deal. But personally, me using Arthur, that never happens for me. That happens for the enemy Arthurs, sure. For me, nah. That does not happen, so. I don't know. I don't know. I'm saying. It never happens for me. But you will see enemy Arthurs doing it all the time. They're getting their passive, even though you're having Zaldras come in. And it it kind of pisses you off, but you know. It is what it is. Arthurs are everywhere in this game mode. It's actually surprising, because I, I do believe that the team I'm using is better than the Arthur teams, mainly because it is Gelda, and like I said, can't deny Gelda, but I see way more Arthurs, I don't know if it's because people summon more for Arthur than Gelda, considering Arthur was a festival unit, I think that's very reasonable to believe, right, and the Arthur teams are good, I think that the double Askenor Arthur team is the team I've seen the most out of all teams. So, if there is one that you're uh, thinking of running next week on Global, that is definitely a really good one. The one thing that I hate running the double R for was when I had to use... I guess not had to, but I did use one R the Excalibur R for in the front, and he didn't have the Holy Relic, because there's no Relic on this on this game mode, and Bon, Purgatory Bon, if you're gonna run, you know, double Bon instead of double Askunar, doesn't have his Relic either, Base Askunar doesn't have his Relic, like, not having Relics changes things up, and older characters definitely seem a little weaker than they should, which is unfortunate, because they're already old, right, but, you know, some characters have it worse than others, I think LR Zelders, yeah, he doesn't have his Relic, but, like, his Relic sucks, for PvP, his Relic is phenomenal for PvE, but in PvP, it never, like, his Relic never happens. If you tell me with a straight face that, no, I do remove Alt Gauge several times throughout the match of LR Zelda, you're just straight up lying to yourself. That just never happens, because... <laughs> when do you have the time? For, for, first of all, when do you have the time to? And second, a lot of the times when you use a Zelda single target, guess what? You killed the enemy, and that Alt Gauge removal doesn't happen, so the, the Relic doesn't get contributed. So, yeah, losing his Relic doesn't really matter. I think losing Lost Vein's Relic is unfortunate, because the extra damage could have been clutch, but I... I guess I, I could run one with Lost Vein in the front. When using him, I never felt like, oh, I need this damage from him. You know what I mean? Having his, uh, his seal is pretty good, but it doesn't work on Gelda's, so that, that, that's how I think. You know, it doesn't work on Gelda, which is, like, the best character potentially best PvP character in the game, so like, I don't know. Alright, swapping to use Lost Vein in the front, and... I guess I didn't capture it, but... I also have lost a decent chunk of CC by doing this. You know, it's not the biggest deal, but if you're already not at the upper tiers of box CC, that, I think I lost 4,000 CC by swapping LR Zeldris for Nebula Zeldris. Right? I have Nebula Zeldris in the back. I guess I don't have to do that. I could run LR Zeldris in the back and just not have an effect, but I think if I'm already running as Zeldris in the back, I might as well get the effect, right? I need more attack-related stats. 
and you know lowering their attack a little bit okay that rank up uh but it is definitely something to consider right let's see how about we do this surely we'll kill arthur right i'm gonna heal a good chunk all right Let's see what his tar meal link. He's gonna lose a ton of HP by killing Arthur here. Yeah, this is why running an Arthur in the front can be very problematic. He doesn't have his relic, so that extra net of safety just isn't there. And if he dies, you lose so much HP. I did like making the video of the full Arthur, but like that, that is definitely an issue. Those Arthurs aren't tanky anymore. The relic was a huge help for them. <laughs> Not having it is very unfortunate. Oh, bro, got that full melee? Damn. Oh no, that's Zelda. <laughs> I don't know, I took a glance. I was looking at the other monitor. I took a glance. <laughs> I thought it was a full melee team. Whatever. Yeah, no, no one's gonna be running those like wackier teams anymore. Th this is the thing that probably a lot of global players are gonna miss out on. And that happens on Chaos Game Mode as well. On the first day on JP, because people are just having fun and trying stuff out, you can see a ton of like wacky stuff. And that's when I can do wacky stuff as well, because other people are running it, so I can also run it. But after like the first, second day, less and less people are running like just the weird teams, and it's more sweaty stuff. <sighs> yeah, Last Fane gets uh, demolished sometimes. Yeah, it's like way less prevalent. Um, I didn't get my rank up either. How about we kill you? Let's make sure. And then you. Oh, yeah. This is another problem with Lost Vein. Demon King Melee. Type advantage against them. <laughs> yeah, Demon King Melees are prevalent. Like I said, Arthur's and Demon King Melees. Great, I get like. Geldas aren't that common, C comparatively to just Arthurs, and then, you know, the Dimmy King Mallies, I think, uh, obviously count for both the Geldas and the Foul Gelda teams, so... Maybe it's a 50-50 between seeing Arthurs and Dimmy King Mallies. I feel like it's more Arthurs, though, just from the gut feeling of me having played the game mode a decent amount at this point. And it makes sense, I think, above all, People just wanna, like, if you pulled for Arthur, and, I mean, you had a decent chunk of time where he was just godly, right? But if, you know, could have been longer. <laughs> this is a good opportunity to have that godly moment for Arthur again, I suppose. So yeah, this might be my last one. And uh, as much as, you know, I, I do think that, ooh, Purgatory Melling have Lost Vein. That's definitely an option, but Lost Vein just has more CC. Like, it is what it is. And Purgatory Melee is, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, kind of shit, but whatever. In any case, there's a ton of teams that are pretty good. So if you don't have Gelda, I'm hoping you do. But if you don't, if you don't have Gelda, you didn't summon for her 600 banner. Maybe they didn't have the gems at the time. Uh, double Liz is really good. Not Goddess Liz, but I'm definitely gonna make a team uh, video on that as well before it comes out on global. But I just want to make the uh, observation: double Liz with the newer light Liz, of course, and LR Liz in the back with double Melios in the front. That's two dodges, Re really high CC, and just overall, you know, very very strong as well. So. I do really like this this rule. I, I really hope they bring it back more often because this was an April Fool's thing. Like, oh, the crazy rule is back, but like, it's like legit a really good rule. It's not like, oh my God, you know, this is so crazy. The game is so wild right now. It's legit really cool and kind of ba weirdly balanced. <laughs> so it's like the way they did the rule was so well thought out that if they brought this back, like, every couple of months, people would be really excited for it. I would really... They wouldn't do it, but like, hope for it to become a... Dude, the dodge and getting the ultimate right here is so crazy. 
Okay, he doesn't have Tower Melik. I can just do this then. If they were to bring it back as a separate game mode, like Chaos Battle, I think he would be so popular. You know, people would really play just for the fun. Plus, some reward incentives would be also pretty cool, right? But, anyways, that's about it. If they Honestly, if they replaced Chaos Battle with this game mode and just gave those same rewards that Chaos Battle gives, but for this game mode instead, it would be crazy. <laughs>